Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today SPY is dropping minus 1.07, 1.08 right now. Uh, let's see how problematic this situation is. Let's see if it is time to panic or not. If we should buy, if we should sell. Let's do a complete multiple time frame analysis on SPY today. I hope you guys are going to like this video right now SPY. The problem with SPY is that it did trigger a bullish structure, okay? It did, that's a fact. It did a lower high, lower low. The problem is, in the next day, it did this, okay? And right now, we are keep dropping. And it did this movement by doing a gap. This little gap over here, this little blue gap, it is a breakaway gap type, okay? so. It is a breakaway gap because it is breaking a previous support level. In this case, it is breaking the support at 446 and the 21 exponential moving average. So it is a breakaway gap. It's different than a common gap, for instance, like this one. All right, or a runaway gap like this one. Okay, this is a breakaway gap. Right now, this breakaway gap is started the bearish momentum over here. And it is funny because we feel it, the previous gap, and this point did a very good job holding the price for one, two, three, four hours. In the next, in the next following hour, we lost the support level and the momentum was so strong that we lost the purple trend line down here. So yes, the SPY is not bullish at all. I do not advise buying SPY at such a bearish moment over here. And especially because we do not see any zero meaningful bullish reaction. Okay, if we had a bullish reaction, I would tell you, okay, I, I would say, oh, right now maybe it is worth to buy it. Right now maybe it is making sense. It is not the case. However, I find curious because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bearish candles in a row. That's quite rare. How many times in the past you saw nine bearish candles in a row like this? This is very rare. If you ask me, I, and, and I hate to say this because I hate to say stuff like my guts are telling me, but right now, this is true, okay? Statistically speaking, I think that we have good chances of doing a pullback to the 21 IMA again, all right? And this is only my gut saying, but uh, it is because I find so rare to see a bearish movement like this one that I find nearly unbelievable to to think that it's going to keep dropping, okay? I believe that the market will bounce back up. The market has what I like to call rubber band effect. When it, it drops a lot, usually it goes up as well. Maybe not a lot, but it might go up. A good sign on SPY would be if it closes today above this support level at the black line at 430 five dollars okay this black line is going to be our main key point in the short term if we close today by the end of the day above this black line this is going to be a fantastic bear trap and a false breakout so we have to watch this point right now it's not a good time to buy and it is not a good time to sell either i mean a good time to sell was here in december right when it did this double top anything below this point I think the risk reward ratio is not that attractive and right now it is not attractive at all i mean are you going to sell near a support level with the chances of seeing a pullback in your face if you want to sell wait at least for a pullback all right wait for a pullback to the ema try to sell near a resistance not near a support level when we analyze the daily chart it is a problematic situation we are losing the 61.8 percent retracement and uh, the 61.8% retracement is at the same price level of this black line in the one hour chart, $435. See, $435. So this point is very important on SPY. Again, if we close above it today, that's gonna be a very nice false breakout. Even if we close above this point on Tuesday, because Monday is a holiday, I think it, it would still be a false breakout and SPY could do a pullback to the 21 IMA 
again. When we analyze the weekly chart, guys, the weekly chart, we do have a bearish reaction. Okay, if you if you ask me, Nathan, we have a bearish sign on the weekly chart. Yes, we do. My friends, remember to click on the like button. I mean, are you still watching this video? I think you are interested in what I'm saying. I think this video is quite helpful. And click on the subscribe button if you are new around here. I mean, we are above 1,000 subscribers. We are doing so well. Here you will find daily videos on SPY, Tesla, and other stocks that I find interesting. Check my newsletter on my website over here, my trading newsletter, seven days trial. You are going to get the first newsletter for free. I'm going to update our recommendations today. If you have any questions about our performance here, it is 100% public. Click here and you will be directed to this public document and you may analyze how we are doing. I mean, in the past 52 weeks, we are outperforming the market. We are going up almost 80%. The S&P is going just 17%. So my friends, I think we have a very nice track record. Our performance is pretty good. And again, seven days trial. So subscribe at our newsletter. Right now, let's get back to SPY in the weekly chart. What is the bearish? What is the bearish pattern we might see around? Is a head and shoulders chart pattern, okay? If this pattern over here is going to be triggered, then we are going to see a very problematic situation. I think we are going to retest the 400, 404 down here, this black line, at least, all right, at least, I mean, in the most optimistic scenario, okay, I think 404 is going to be our next target. And uh, it is a problematic situation because it feels like the 21 exponential moving average is a very strong resistance level for SPY. I mean, this week, we tried to break it, we lost the battle. The next week, we tried again, we lost the battle, leaving two huge shadows above the two candlesticks bodies over here. So, this is a very problematic situation indeed. It seems like we are talking about a dead cat bounce to the EMA before we can drop more. So, this is why I'm telling you guys, right now, is the best moment for the S&P to react. I mean, if we are about to avoid this scenario, we must react as soon as possible. It will all depend on how SPY is going to close today and on how it's going to close on Tuesday as well. Tuesday, we're gonna see our confirmation, okay? So let's see if it goes below this point, it is a problem. It might drop again more, but uh, we still have the chance of seeing a false breakout in our face. So again, I am neutral. I do not recommend buying SPY. I do not recommend selling SPY. I think we should wait for more signals, for more confirmation, and what's more important, for the risk reward ratio makes sense. I will keep you guys updated in this channel. So remember to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye bye.